<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I spawned in. We haven't played in a little bit. But there's a bed. <laughs> there's a bed in our front door. <laughs> and then pretty much everything in this chest was inside my inventory. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Apparently one of my siblings got on and <laughs> took everything. They they also enchanted an iron shovel <laughs> that has efficiency too. <laughs> so oh no, they used our book, didn't they? They must have. Do we have any of them left around? Any of the books? I don't know. I got a bow that's infinity one that I just put in the chest. Oh, dude, they used all our books. We had like six books. <laughs> dude, <laughs> there's no books left. They used all yeah, of them. We don't have any iron left either. Oh my. We wow. we got some cooked stone though. Surprised they didn't steal my trident or your bow. It's probably because they have no idea how to play. <laughs> well that sucks. I guess we're gonna have to go mining again. What are four emeralds? Where did they get those? <laughs> I don't know. I I bet they traded with a trader. Oh, they just traded a bunch of our crap. Ooh. Maybe, uh, maybe. I don't know now. I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure if the traders actually trade for emeralds. I think they only accept emeralds. I think it's only the, the town traders or the village traders that will give you emeralds. But I'm not sure now. Well, that sucks. Oh, no, wait. Our books are upstairs. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Um. So, we still have five, so we'll get it back. if you guys remember last time, and I'm trying to remember last time too, because it's been a minute, but... We got bamboo, and I I want to make a fireplace in our house, and I'm thinking about putting it. Probably, I don't know. Where do you think would be a good spot? I don't want it to be out front, decorative. Um, and then also we got sugar cane going too, so we'll be able to make more paper to get more books to enchant more things. So we're kind of cruising. Oh. What do you think we need to do this episode? Arrows. No, I got them. Sorry, I have, I have. Oh, you got them. Yeah, okay. They're in my inventory. I'll go and put it back. Um. Okay. Sure. <laughs> what? Uh, whoops. What do we, What do we need to do this episode? We don't need to do anything else in the Nether, do we? No, not really. Um. Let's see. We we've got some iron. Uh, um, how many ender pearls do we have? I think we only have one. We have three. We have three. Only three. Okay. So yeah. we could, we could try to gather ender pearls. Uh, we probably need more diamonds. To be fair, like I don't think you can really ever get enough. Yeah, but we probably do need we more. You have thirty-two, but oh, a brewing stand. That's what we should make. Let's make a brewing stand really quick. Uh, I think I made one upstairs. Oh, is there one up there? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Do we need a water bucket up there? Bucket of water? Like a uh, one of those... Um, we... This right here? Cauldron? Yeah. yeah, we need to put the cauldron up there. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me get the water out of it, because I have a couple extra buckets. That way we just don't have to... I, I that got that. I'll go take it up there. Because um, you need water to potion brew, yes? Yes. Okay. So the water is the base ingredient, pretty much. You take um. So we have we have twelve glass bottles, but you take a glass bottle, you fill it with water, then you put it in the brewing stand, and whatever ingredient you want to add to that bottle, you stick in the slot uh, at the top of the brewing stand. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up with water. I think the most basic ingredient is um, nether wart, if I remember correctly. Okay, so hold on. I need to, I need to learn. There's blaze cream in there, so I put a bottle? Where... Yeah, you'll put, a, put it in one of the bottle slots. Doesn't matter. Where Does it need to be empty or full? It needs to have water in it. Okay, I got it. And then blaze powder probably doesn't do anything. Is that, is that what this is telling me? Uh yeah, the blaze powder is just in there. It's a fuel. It's oh. like it's like coal. It's like coal in the furnace. Oh okay. So okay. just just keep it piled up in there, and it'll slowly. You see that bar next to yeah. it? That bar tells you how much of how much is. So what happens current. if I put another word in there? And now it's in there is being used. 
So if you put another wart in that empty slot at the top, it'll imbue the potion. It'll make it a mundane potion, if I remember correctly. What does that mean? And then from there, uh, it basically, it doesn't mean anything. It's pretty much useless. Uh, a mundane potion needs to have an additional ingredient added to make it do something. Okay, this is awkward like, potion. I think if we add, I think it, or I guess awkward, maybe not mundane. Uh, so do we have any puffer fish? We do. There's one in here. I'm going to try try adding a puffer fish. What is this to that slot? Now. What does a spider eye do? Let's see what happens? Uh, it depends. Each ingredient can do varying things. So I'm there's there's a huge list of potions. I'm assuming that you want to put bottles in all three slots to do three at once. Is that correct? Yeah, you probably want to do that because one ingredient can make three potions. Mm -hmm, okay. But if I remember correctly, I think it's the nether wart and then the puffer fish and then you get a water water breathing potion. Yeah, that's what I just got here. Okay. I think if you add redstone in between. It makes the effect of the water breathing potion last longer. Okay. I think it's redstone. I can't remember. But you could also use glowstone for some some other effect too. Um, we'll have to look up a list. They should really add like a potion brewing book to this game. They should. Well, just, I wonder if it's in. There's, there's so much you can do. Uh, I think if you let's do potions. No, it doesn't come up. No. It... I don't think there's any. It doesn't really give you any information. There's a list online. That's how I learned how to do it initially. Yeah. I spent a long time with the list open on my phone as I uh, made potions. There's a how to play section. I wonder if there's a brewing in here. Crafting for oh, there is. It. There is brewing stand. Brewing stand. Three slots for creating different potions. Putting netherwort in the top position of the brewing stand will give you an aqua potion. This doesn't have any effect of it, so. Where it creates a base potion that can be used to create more advanced potion. The remaining potion effects discover experiment with different ingredients and combinations to become a true alchemist. Okay, that doesn't tell you. <laughs> it's it's all generally kind of useless. It's like, do you know how to play the base game? No? Well, we'll tell you. If you want more than that, then too bad. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to... I'm going to make a... Uh, sword. Diamond sword. That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna go enchant it. Yeah. I'll wait till my sword's broken, and then I'll make a new one. Okay, what books do we got? Smite three. That actually is pretty good. We do we have? I should go check on how our sugar cane's doing. I just barely mined it and planted more. Oh. Okay. Um. Because oh. we should we should see if we can make more bookshelves. Yeah. If we can find the end portal, we could just jack a bunch. That's true. Put a bunch of lapis up here. Kill. I need to kill Enderman to be able to do that though. Yeah, it's getting night though. Might be oh, what are you doing. What happens if you put lapis in a brewing stand? Nothing. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's an actual brewing ingredient. I see. I think it just might be for enchanting and making them dies. <sighs> Um, well, actually, do we want to go mining or do we want to go hunting for Enderman? Um, I'm I'm doing this wrong. I I need to go to the anvil or make a new anvil because our anvil broke. Remember? Oh, there's a disenchantment thing. What happens if I? You can dis you can oh, take the enchantment that's off. That's it. Of... Okay, I do need an anvil. Yeah. Then. It... Yeah. We need the anvil for the Shoot, I don't think we have enough iron. Which means we need iron. Hey, I'll go mine some iron. Yeah, we could always use. I'll more. just go with you. This isn't. <laughs> it's kind of a pain. I. Okay, did we really not have that much iron? Like I thought we had more iron. I think we used a large portion of it for our sorting system. Oh, for our kitchen. But I think I'm. I'm pretty sure that more of it was used as well by the others. Okay, we have 21 down here. So I'll put it in this chest. It was in a furnace. But we have 21 iron in this chest down here. I'm thinking I'll do more exploring of the uh, mine shafts to see if we can find some more chests or something. Okay. I'm sure there's still um, plenty of this we haven't explored. So, Skull Kid was saying that she would like to join. Are you cool with that? 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't know if she was saying she wanted to join right now or not. Message her though. She said to message her when we were playing next. Oh crap. The creeper. That buddy. Oh. So I've been doing some work on the uh, over oh, oh, yeah overworld I guess in this and uh, that castle that's nearby. Mm -hmm. Um, I I did some work and fenced it in and filled it full of villagers. So now there's some villagers in a protected village nearby. Okay. I just got so, shot by something. What the heck was that? That might be something we could uh Whoa, hold on a second. Play around with later. If I shoot a door and open it. Okay, that's what happened. If you shoot a door and then open it, the arrow drops and it that hurt me for Oh, I didn't know that opening the door did that. I knew if you broke the block, the arrow was stuck in, it would do that, but I didn't know that you could do it with doors. That's kind of cool. Okay. That kind of, that can be used as a little bit of a, a temporary trap. You know, so long as the arrow doesn't spawn. I wonder if you put like a trap door or something, and they fall from the ceiling. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna message here. I thought we were playing. Okay. Let me play with my inlay for my settings because I'm not sure. I have to figure out how to adjust settings. So I'm not sure if we would need to be friends for that to happen or if the join code is enough. I remember when the same man wanted to join, he had a problem getting on here for some reason. Silly. Well, she's on computer, so it might be a little bit easier than on Switch. Oh, that's true. It might be. Okay. Um, I, I don't. Uh, man, it's so hard to remember. When we don't play this very often. Like, uh, mm -hmm. what the heck we were all doing? Okay, I didn't bring down a bucket of water. Cause I'm a noob. I haven't. <laughs> you what? I have an empty bucket. I left the rest of them in a chest. Yeah, chest I, got, I got an empty bucket as well. Nice. I'm gonna try and get this water right here. Without melting to death. Make sure nothing's gonna eat me. Spider. Okay. Ooh, I found an emerald. Um, so emeralds are only used for trading, right? They serve no other purpose? Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah, they're pretty much worthless. Although, apparently, the more you trade with a villager, the rarer his uh, materials will become. Mm. Like, if you trade with a blacksmith, eventually he'll start selling diamond stuff. Really? And even on top of that, enchanted diamond stuff. Yeah. So, it, it, it kind of gives you a little bit more reason to want to take care of villagers and... Um, constantly trade with them, but emeralds are so rare. They're like just as rare as diamonds. So it's like I think I just found diamonds. Hard to it's hard to be like willing to part with it. I mean, right now we, we I don't think I've ever gotten more emeralds. Than I did always. Oh baby, this pickaxe gives me a lot of diamonds. Yeah, if you find any, let me know, because I just got, out of four, I just got ten. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'll let you know. If I find any more diamonds or emeralds or gold. Uh, it can't be gold. It has to be anything that's not, a, it can't be, can't be iron or gold. Oh, wait, you're right. But you're it right, can be yeah. coal, lapis, redstone. Well, I believe anyway, unless they've changed that. I don't think so. Cool. Now we got 10 diamonds, but I, I think we're in need of iron. Oh, found that spawner again. <laughs> Can't remember what spawned in here. It was skeletons, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. I it was skeletons. It was a lot of episodes ago. It's too hard to remember. This place is a mess. We need to figure out how to... 
coordinate this better. So we know what we're going, what we're doing. Did we find a abandoned mine shaft right off the bat? I think that's what it was, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm starting. I'm yeah, starting I've been cleaning now. out. I've been cleaning out a lot of the wood that was down here. Or at least the last time I I did any mining, I was doing that. Mm -hmm. Just because it's a bunch of free wood, like. I think I had two or three stacks of fence and uh, a couple stacks of wooden planks. All right. And there's still more laying around, so. Although it is probably more efficient to just chop down trees. Kind of fun. Being in an abandoned mine shaft, stealing somebody else's hard work. <laughs> Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do? Probably waste the time, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I just hollow out this main hub real quick. Uh, I think that's probably a good idea. It's too easy to get lost. We need to make it so that it's easier to figure out how to get back to. Yeah. Well, getting back home is kind of this just big open area. So hopefully, this is good enough. Although having the rail here does make it a little easier to figure out which way is back home. See, I wonder if we should take the rail to the uh, mine shaft where you're at. Go through that, because th those mine shafts are massive. Well, I ended up wandering back into this area anyway. Back to the, the main area? I'm not sure, I'm not really sure how much there is to actually find. Here? Or in the mine shaft, I mean? In the mine shaft, yeah. And there might be a, a floor we haven't discovered yet, but for now it doesn't seem worth it. Right here it goes up a little bit. This one's cool. Yeah, dude, this looting pick gives you a bunch. How much iron do you have right now? Like how many iron ores? I just put it in this chest. It was six. Okay. And the emeralds in there too. We might have to go find a new mining spot or just expand this one. Nope. There's an emerald right here. Um, if you want to come break with, with your enchanted pickaxe. Come on, mowing. Was this on our rails? Yeah. Oh, this one. Sucks. Oh, well, you dropped one. So we got two out of that, right? Uh, I I don't have one. Or did I, I didn't get one. Oh, you I, I thought you picked one up. Okay, so never mind. So you can't. Well, what's the point of emeralds if they're rarer than diamonds and you can't use uh, uh looting on them? What's the point? No, that sucks. Like, if that's going to be the case, they should have more than emeralds being a source of money. You know, like, use gold nuggets or something. Mm -hmm. Just because gold is pretty much worthless, too, unless you're building rails. Or make it so you can, like, turn emeralds into, like, weapons or something. Something That'd useful. That'd make it worth it, yeah. yeah like a... Honestly, that was, like, the, that was, like, the coolest part of the tech it mods. Yeah, get, like, different colored pigs. <laughs> Ruby and emerald weapons and tools. <laughs> um, I found another emerald. I wonder if it, if the looting does work on it. I just need to check it again. I don't know. Out of that one, we only got. No, I only got one, one as well. But... Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. 